get off the right wheel. Good morning, everybody. I just got to recite a little of that last verse. Y'all ain't seen nothing like this. They should copyright this. And guess what? They ain't going to like this. I promise you, seriously, what I want everybody to do is, everybody, everybody take out pen and pad. You got to take notes. We've got to take notes. Can we get a little lights? A little lights. They ask them for light. Thank you, thank you. My journey. Wow. We just tell you. A lot of you heard my story. I always got to tell my story. Born and raised Chicago, middle class neighborhood. Born in the house of my dad on a print shop for 30 years. My dad was a boss. Print shop was in the basement of our house. He was an entrepreneur. Went to school, got decent grades, went to college. I knew after college that J-O-B wasn't for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. I started my first business at nine years old. Nine years old, it was a t-shirt business. And I went on and I just started business after business after business after business. When I hit college, I owned a t-shirt company and I also was a party promoter. I expanded both businesses. Are you all with me? My last year of college, I took a t-shirt company into a multi-million dollar clothing store. I opened up Groovewear, that was my store. Groovewear, I opened it up my last year of college. My store Groovewear took off. It was the first hip-hop clothing store in the state of Tennessee. I'm from Chicago, but I went to Tennessee State University. And when I got to college, I wasn't looking for a degree, I saw opportunity. Does that make sense? It was a business for me. So my last year, I opened up Groovewear. Groovewear took off. I made a million dollars my first nine months in that business. Are you all with me? My store averaged $20,000 a week, every week in revenue, and I could do 20,000 in one day if the right customer walked in my store. I had days where I made 60 grand in a day in my store. I was one of the largest distributors for FUBU. You all heard of the company FUBU? Yeah. I was with FUBU when they were selling shirts out the trunk. I used to go to New York, we used to, I used to meet those guys in an alley in a warehouse. Three years later, after that commercial, you all remember that commercial, LL Cool J said, for us, by us? It was a $500 million run. The next time I went to meet them, that office was on the top floor of the Empire State Building in New York. Are you all with me? I was blessed at a young age in my early 20s to be a part of that run. I thought that would never end. We made millions of dollars in the clothing industry. Entertainment, same way I work with every major label in entertainment. Every label I work with, you name them from Def Jam, Priority, Babel, you name them, I work with them. I did shows with them, I toured with them, I made revenue with them. Millions of dollars in entertainment. A lot of you hear my story, but right after 9-11, the whole industry crashed. My store went from 20,000 a week to 2,000 a week. Are you all with me? You had stores like TJ Maxx. You had stores like Marshalls that ran me out of business. 
Because that same FUBU shirt I sold for $60, guess what? They sold for 12 It was the end. I started then looking for other streams of income. Now, my younger cousin brought this opportunity to me, all right? And when he brought this to me, I thought it was beneath me. He used to come to my stories, to come to my shows. He used to try to share this to me, and I used to laugh at him, like, man, you doing that stuff? And long story short, I saw how passionate and serious he was about this business, and I joined this business just to support him. Does that make sense? I'm the type of person that anybody I see trying to do something around me positive, I'm going to support them. Everybody in my neighborhood, everybody in my community, they know this. If you're selling coconut cookies, I'm allergic to coconut, but it's for a good cause, I'm going to buy a box. Are you with me? There are people like that. Those are the people you got to look for. So bottom line, my cousin, I know he's got to be in here. Jeffrey Sherman Chambers in this room. If you're in this room, stand up, please. He was at the party with me last night, so he'll show up a little later, probably. <laughs> but he will be here, because he's one of the most consistent reps I know. But bottom line, he got me to a national convention. And the first convention I came to was in 2006 in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in 2006, I walked in a room half the size of this room and saw opportunity. Are you all with me? It wasn't the Bentleys. It wasn't the videos. It was none of that. It was a plan and it was vision. It was only about 11 to 12 senior vice presidents in the company at that time. Are you all with me? But when I walked in the room and I met people like John and Patrice Jones that were making yearly income on a monthly basis, when I saw people making double digits a month, the first thing I said was, what? You shouldn't have never, ever showed me this business right here. <laughs> Back then, the product was a video phone and home phone service. Are you all with me? Tish, remember, right? That was the product. At the time, the average household was paying $80 or more for home phone service. Now understand, we were, at that time, we were selling MCI home phone service. We were selling Trinsic home phone service. That was an $80 or $100 bill. But when we came out with VOIP and our company launched our own VIOP company called Global Links. We were able to offer, we were able to cut a $80 bill to a $20 bill. I felt like Superman, like a superhero. I would pop up in the living room and pop out my chest and say, I'm here to help you. <laughs> Do you follow? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, 800% growth. Inc. 500, Inc. 5000. Bentley started hitting the streets. Are you all with me? Revenue was made over a $100 million run. Millionaires were created. And I was happy and proud to be one of those that made a million dollars on that run. Are you all with me? <laughs> Knew nothing about this. But I sat in those seats like you, and it made too much sense, and we ran. We ran. 
We made it happen. We got DTA boxes. We went in those living rooms and dens. We hooked that service up, and we got people savings. It worked. We made history. Are you all with me? Now, let me tell you all something. It's a lot of ways, and it's quite a few ways we make money in five links. We make money on bonuses. We make money on commissions. Are you all with me? But I joined this business for residual income. This is why I joined this business, for residual income. Now, some people come in here and they in this just to chase a bonus, to get a bonus check. Some people come in this and they want a title. I don't care about a title. I was an executive director, a national director in this business, and my checks were higher than SVP. Because I didn't join this for a title. I joined this to make money for me and my family. Are you all with me? So I, I've seen a lot of people lose focus on how to build this business. They build, they build it for a bonus or they build it for a title. And that won't last. That's when you see when change comes, People that don't build this right, they don't last. I built this business brick by brick, day one, the right way. So no matter which way it goes, guess what? I follow my residual income. Are you all with me? So I don't get the titles and the bonuses get you distracted on how to build. What's residual income? It's also called passive or reincurring income. It's income that continues to generate after initial effort has been expended. Now understand this. Understand my path, you all. I made millions of dollars in music. I made millions of dollars in entertainment. Are you all with me? But the problem with those runs were they were not residual income. It was not residual income. 95% of wealthy people make what they call residual income. How many people are here to build wealth? I'm here to build wealth. And today we're going to talk about how to do this right and to build wealth. Let me ask you a question. Does wealth happen overnight? No. Not at all. But understand, in this industry, it can happen fast. Are you all with me? Yeah. Now, this is the number one question that I ask everywhere I go in America. And I don't care if you're NFL, I don't care if you're NBA, I don't care what you do, I ask this question. Making money is not new to us. Making money isn't new. I got a nephew that made $50 million in the NFL. $50 million and four years later had no money. And some of you say, oh, man, how he messed that up? But do you know that happens to 78% of NFL players? 78% of NFL players, four years after they retire, they're broke, they're bankrupt or divorced, and divorced. 60% of the NBA. These are people that touch millions of dollars, but it's not residual income. Are you all with me? So residual income is powerful. So the number one question I ask, and this is what you must go home and ask your people, write this down. I don't care what they do, doctor, lawyer, or whatever. The question is, how many people were born into a $1,000 a month business? How many people in this room were born into a $1,000 a month business? That means you get $1,000 every month just because you were born. That's powerful. No hands go up. 
Every country, every city I go to, everywhere I go, I ask this question, and no hands go up. That's called generational wealth. Now, imagine if you left your heirs or if you left the next generation $1,000 a month, and you let that money pile up every month. They couldn't touch it until they were 21 years old. $1,000 a month, 21 years, that's 252000 Is that a good number to start the game of life off with, 252000 Would that break the curse of poverty in our community? Would that take care of college? Would that take care of everything? That's only $1,000 a month, residual. This is what we have here. Don't get confused into, oh, 40,000 a month, 30,000 a month. Get your residual to $1,000 a month. And I dare you to lead that to the next generation. I promise you, you have done more than most. Even better, what if we build this to $2,500 a month, residual, every month? And I see these first two or three rows, they trembling. Their hands are shaking. Why? Because they're at this point already. They've done this. We've done 10 times this. Are you all with me? But you've got to understand what we got on our hands. And don't go for the okie doke. Ain't no opportunity like this. This is true residual income. 21 years at $2,500 a month, $600,000. Who would like their kids to start off at 21 at $600,000? That's just $2,500 a month. $10,000 a month, 21 years over $2 million. This is my plan. This ain't no 401 play can or plan. This is our plan. This is what we can make happen right here. Are y'all with me? This is the big picture. This is where we're at. Now, let's talk about where we're at. What's going on with this? Stream TV. This is the product of the next decade. We are perfectly positioned right here. This is Global Links on steroids. This is more money than y'all can ever imagine. So a lot of you all that saw that last run, oh my goodness, buckle up, tighten up your shoes, because this run is going to be 10 times stronger. This is the billion dollar run. And that first run positioned us to be able to go get this billion. Are you all with me? <laughs> but you understand, before we go get a billion, we got to shake off some of that fat, right? We got to get rid of junk, right? Because we got to go rebuild. And we got some people that don't want to work and don't want to get out here and build. How many of y'all ready to go out here and build to make this billion dollar run? TV, did you know 100 million households in the U.S. subscribe to TV? 100 million. This is going to mess you up. The value of TV. This was surprising to me. Right here, it says, I don't know if you all can see this, but it says a percentage of poor households in the U.S. which have various amenities. At the top of the list, refrigerator. 99.6% of all households have a refrigerator. Do you know what's number two on that list? Do you know what's number two on that list? You're talking about a product. Do you know what's number two on that list? 97 0.7% of every poor household has a TV. 
Listen, more people have a TV than have a stove. <laughs> and y'all looking for the money, right? Y'all looking for the industry, right? We got it. Stream TV, number of TV households worldwide. Right now, there's about 1.5 billion households worldwide that have TV. They predict by 2021, 1.6 billion TV customers. Know what I talk, know what I know? Any percent of a billion dollars is a lot of money. Any percent. So understand this. We about to get our share. Are you all with me? <laughs> now, what's going to happen today? This is what we're talking about today. This is what's going to go on today for everybody here. The goal, the goal for everybody here to have at least 1,000 TV customers. I don't care if you're an ET, I don't care if you're an ED, if you're an IMR, the titles don't mean nothing to me. Are you all with me? But everybody here has to get at least 1,000 customers. Why 1,000? Because this will set you financially free. The door of opportunity is open right now, and we've got a chance to run into that door and make history. Are you all with me? So before you leave here, I'm about to show you all how to get at least 1,000 customers. First, you got to have distribution. Distribution, distribution, distribution. What's distribution? The act of sharing something out among the number of recipients. The industry I came from, people fight and kill over a distribution deal. In the music industry, if you got a distribution deal with Def Jam, you on. Why? Because Def Jam will have your product in every city, every continent, every station. You will be aired. You will be there. Walmart. Walmart has distribution. If you get your product in Walmart, overnight your product is where? all 50 states, big cities, small cities, and guess what, even other countries. They have huge distribution. We're business owners, right? We've got to build distribution. Do you follow? So that's the first thing we got to do. You want to build a distribution. How strong is your distribution team? Is it one of y'all, two of y'all? Is this your neighborhood? You're in multiple states, where are you? All right, so remember this. Take your notes, write it down, write this down. The formula is five and 10. The formula is five and 10. Everybody, today is gonna be a day in history. I was just talking with Nelson, I was just talking with Fashad backstage, we were just talking, and it's like we're laughing at this deal now. It is so fun and funny to us because we got it. We got the train back on the track, and we got a straight path to a billion. The formula is five and 10, and it's gonna start right here. Five and 10. So listen, everybody in this room, Erase what happened yesterday. Platinums, I'm talking to you. SVPs, I'm talking to you. Right now, today, we're about to run this company to a billion dollars. We don't care about no naysayers. We don't need nobody else. All we need is the people in this room to do it. Because I told you we made 100 million, the room was half this size. We strong now. Now you just got to get your mind right. Now you got to get your game tight. Now you got to learn what to do. 
We ain't going to walk out of here talking about it. We're going to walk out here being about it. We're going to walk out of here doing this thing. Real quick, we got to build distribution. Write this down. Everybody write this down. This is our number one peak. Everybody has to go get a new starting five. Starting five. Everybody has to build what I call a money team. Write it down. Money team. Do the drill. Now, this is your distribution. This is your structure. Your money team. You're looking for five strong people that want to make some serious money. So now write this peak down. I have a million dollar project. And I'm looking for five people that are serious that want to make an extra five to $10,000 a month. I thought of you, are you interested in an extra 10K a month? Guess what, y'all? This is a yes or no answer. I don't hear about what this is, what the man do. Are you, do you want an extra 10K a month, yes or no? It's a new day now. Don't worry about yesterday. If not, I'm calling so-and-so, but I got the money right now. I got a million-dollar move I'm working on, and I'm looking for five people around me that want to make an extra 10K a month. Forget about yesterday. Do you want to, yes or no? Uh, yeah, okay, I'm writing your name down. Next, I get back with you. Are you all with me? I want you to be a part of my money team. One more time, take your notes. I've got a million dollar project. And I'm looking for five serious people that want to make an extra five to $10,000 a month. I'm looking for five people that want to break the curse of poverty. I'm looking for five people that's going to kick the door in. I'm looking for five people that's going to break history. All I need is a yes or no right now. That's all I need. My question is, how many of your platinums on this front row can I get to commit to these five? Come on up. I want to hear a commit. I want to hear y'all commit. Come on, stand up. Stand up. Let's get some music. Let's get some music. We're going to take care of some business today. Commit. All uh, right. Let's get some volume. We want some energy in here. Music. Music. Five. Oh, we're on our way to a billion. Let's go. Commit. I, right, Thomas Felder, commit to my new five in 30 days. Wow. I love it. Let's go. Music, right. please. New York City, what's up? Jovens Moncour, I committed to my new five for 29 days. Let's do it. This is Steve in the real Lucille, five in 30 days. I love it. Watch this. We're about to get a plan. Platinum City Vice President Ron Wee with attitude. It done. I committed to my five guys in 28 days. We want a commitment, baby. Your word. Yeah. Ian Chevy, I'm going to get this done in 30 days. 
I want a strong five. I don't know no weak five. Boston, Massachusetts, are you there? It's going to take me 25 days to get my fives. Five legs! Oh, it's not a game, it's not a game. I'm getting my five next week. What's up, everybody? Kirk and Jimmy Keys out of North Carolina. I'm gonna get my five in 30 days. He's gonna get his five in 30 days. That's 10 in 30 days. 30 days, baby. What's up, Five Links? Jerome Crutch out of New York State, committing to five in 30 days. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Kenneth Crutch, Adrian Crutch, with God's help, 10 in 30 days. Patrice Jones, John Jones, Atlanta. We're gonna do our five now. <laughs> We're on our way to a billion. What's going on, y'all? I got five on it. <laughs> In 10 days. What's up, uh -oh, Mama? Uh -oh, uh -oh. I got five on it, too. Uh. How many SVPs gonna commit to five? How many SVPs commit to five? How many NDs commit to their five? I love it, thank y'all, thank y'all. Five, I promise you we about to get a billion dollars. Cut. Thank y'all. Now, understand this. Understand this now. Understand this. All of my leaders and everybody here, everybody here, you must commit to two levels deep that you're responsible for. Two levels deep you're responsible for. So I said I got my five, right? My five was strong five. But my goal is I got to make sure my five get they five. Are y'all with me? Platinum, y'all with me? We all agree, right? So guess what? If I got three that's running and I got two that's lagging, guess what's going to happen? I'm replacing them too, they ain't in my five. You ain't in my starting five. This is a money team. I don't care how you get the five. If you gotta invest in the five, get your five. Make your leaders go get five. I'm looking for people that's gonna hold they own. Are you all with me? This is my money team, not my losing team. So by any means necessary, we're making it happen. If they need help, guess what? I'm helping them because I'm reliable for my five. And I'm looking for my five. They got to be responsible for their five. Are you all with me? Keep this simple, team. We about to run to a billion. Now understand, this is your distribution channel. Now you're strong. The formula is what? Five and 10. 
So the next level is we got to show everybody how to go get 10 TV customers. Now, when you help your five, get their five, right? Now you've got a team of 25 people. When 25 people on your team, when they get 10 TV customers each, at $2 a customer, now we're talking about $500 a month residual. Now, I just showed y'all what a $1,000 a month residual do for you, right? $500 a month residual. This is what you and the money team put together right away. Some of us are going to do this in 30 to 60 days. We're going to make history. We're going to break the curse of poverty and brokenness in my family. Shouldn't have showed me this. I can't think about nothing else. <laughs> Listen, uh-oh, can we go back one? Oh, great. On that second level, second level, Kirk, Tish, y'all got y'all five, right? Great, I already know, Tish, oh, she running. All right, Crutch got their five. Ian, my man, Ian got his five. Ryan got the five, we got five, right? Now we got, yo, y'all my five. Are y'all with me, right? Guess what my five gotta do? They gotta duplicate this two levels deep. Are you all with me? They got the same commitment I got. So when Ron and when Tish, and when they go two levels deep, guess what that puts me? On my third level. And at that third level, I got 125 reps that just went and got 10 TV customers each. I don't care if it takes us 30 days. I don't care if it takes us a month. I don't care if it takes us a season. It could take us this year. Most people won't get here in a lifetime. Are you all with me? So at this level right here, all we did was duplicate this twice, 125 people at the 10 TV customers each. Now we had $2,500 a month residual. Who is comfortable with $2,500 a month residual and five links? Are y'all with me? We talking over 1,200 customers. This is what everybody in the arena can do. It can take some of us a month, it can take us a season, it can take some of us this year. But this year is the year we break history. Are you all with me? Leaders, imagine we show 10 of our team players how to do this. We just got 10,000 customers. All of us have more than 10 that will work this program. Pick your top 10 and ain't going to fold. Pick your top 10 and ain't going to bend. Pick your top 10 that's ready to run through a brick wall. Don't call nobody to run with you that ain't ready to fight with you. The next level, if we duplicate this four times, we've got over $12,000 a month residual check. This will happen for a lot of people that's in this arena today. Are y'all with me? All right, next, let's move, let's move. I'm running out of time. Now, what makes us different? Now, how to get the customer? How are we gonna get this customer? What makes us different from this direct Comcast? TV, what makes us different? <laughs> Customer service. Are y'all with me, team? See, let me tell you what we fumbled the ball. We got to work hard to get this customer, right? And then when we get this customer, they say, okay, what to do? Then we say, oh, you got to uh, go out and get this Roku, and then you got to uh, download, and then, oh, they through with you. <laughs> That's too much. You've lost the customer. So what makes us different and what makes us on the next level is we've got to provide customer service, team. 
We've got to master this deal. You've got to invest in this business. My team, the reason we're running with this, because we made our leaders all invest and buy 10 Roku devices. Now, we see these devices in the store for $35, $40. Some people don't want to invest. I understand. That's fine with you. You still can get there, but you may be on a slow boat to China. Are you with me? It may take you a while to get there, but you can get there. But if you're on this accelerated run, when the door of opportunity is open, invest in your business. I tell my leaders to invest in 10 Roku devices. Everybody needs to have 10. Why 10? Because 10 would get you free TV service. See, there's a method behind this. 10 is going to get you free TV. So everybody in this arena, we must have free TV. If you don't have free TV, how can you talk about free TV? So let's do it first. Now, understand this. You've got to be able to install. This is the key. Some of you all want to be lazy network marketers. You want to send a message or send something, and hopefully they get it or they do it on their own. You want to get 10 Rokus and you want to play hot potato. You want to show up and get those 10 Rokus off of your hands. Three devices. When we walk into the house, we hook up. Three devices. When you go in that house with that Roku, you hook up that TV, you hook up the cell phone, and you hook up the tablet. The customer has to have a great experience. So imagine when you call Dish or Direct, do you want our service? Yes. What do they do? They send that direct truck out to your house, and guess what they do? They walk in with a box too, don't they? They got a box, but they bring that box. They hook that box up, and they give you a remote, and all they have to do is click for TV. We have to do the same. So you got to get 10 devices, you got to get 10 boxes, and ladies and gentlemen, you got to master this. Go home and hook yours up and keep hooking it up till you get it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not technical. I don't know how to install this stuff and don't have the patience, but I got somebody that will. I pay for somebody to install all my customers. Are you all with me? Yes, now, gathering customers. Remember this, no one wants to be our customer. Remember that. Don't nobody want to be our customer. My best friend, my neighbor, my cousin, they don't want to be my customer. I can, I can provide a service for $49 a month. The next company can have it for $55 a month. And they're going to say, oh, they got it for $55. You just $49. I'm still cheap, but why not run with me? So remember, no one wants to be our customer. We get customers two ways. We get customers on favors and free. See, we got to offer something special for somebody to mess with us. Are you all with me? They like, why should I mess with you? Because mine's free. Who else going to do free? Are you all with me? That's our trump card, free. All right, let's talk about free. Free sounds good to me. All right? So, 10 Roku's, right? We all have 10 devices. Are you all with me? 10 devices. The goal is to pick up the phone. Hey, cousin. Hey, friend. Do me a huge favor and try my free TV service. Who's going to turn down free? Who's going to turn down free? Everybody's been able to get rid of 10 devices this week for free. Cuz, this and that, I know you don't believe in what I do, but check this out. I'm going to come over there and let you check this out for free. This ain't going to cost you nothing. 
Go over there and install that device on a free trial period. What we do, we hook up the TV, we hook up the cell phone and the tablet. That cell phone and that tablet get hooked up, you got a customer because the kids ain't gonna let that tablet go. Are you all with me? They don't say, mommy, daddy, what happened to the TV? You couldn't pay the bill? Now, after free TV, okay, you try my free TV service, but the next step is, let me show you how you never get a bill. Nobody in America is doing this. Let me show you how you never get a bill. Refer me to 10 people, you never get a bill. It's called the race to free TV. So when I'm installing this free TV service, guess what I got? I got this free TV sheet of paper right here. And I'm giving it to them, and I'm saying, put 10 names on this, and you can never have a bill. Are y'all with me? Now, understand, if they don't want the device after seven days, you got to go back and get your device. <laughs> you don't just plant the devices and they there. Hey, how you doing? You still like that? Or if not, hey, I need that back because somebody else wants it. <laughs> you got to take the cookie away. And they're going to be like, wait a minute, no, 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 I'm, I was going to do something. All right? Now, race to free TV. The next step is, understand this, you all, we do home parties, right? We do these for reps. We got to do TV parties. Crunch, man, you just joined, hey, you, you, you try my free, my, my service, right? You shot my trial, right? You like it, right? Hey, I tell you what, man, I can come to your house and do a TV party for you, and guess what? You can invite your friends and family over, and you never get a bill. You never get a bill. Are y'all with me? Social media props. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how to use social media. I got to wrap it up. They, I know they own me, but y'all got to get this information. Y'all don't get nothing else. Now, how to use social media. Take notes. Take pictures. This is what's going on. Thanks to my cousin for saving me $100 on my TV bill. Every install, guess what we want that cousin to do? To go on Facebook and put a shout out to me, Doc. Did I say TV five links? Did I say none of that? No. Curiosity kills the cat. Keep them curious. Keep them sweating you. Hey, I want to thank my coworker for getting me free TV. Guess what's going to happen? How do you get free TV? <laughs> Coach K, where Coach K at? Stand up, Coach K. Let's give Coach K a props. I got to give her props. <laughs> Customers. Coach K. I'm going to ask you to ask corporate, can we get a t-shirt to say this next, next nationals? We got the 25, we got the 50, but we need free TV shirts too. Are y'all with me? You with me? I got my free TV. Facebook, post, boom. So real quick, you all, I definitely want you all to meet somebody. He's going to take about 30 seconds but this is a guy who took this program and ran with it. I got a lot of respect for him. He's the man on the picture. Please help me bring out National Director All-Star, Mr. Dion Lockett. I'm trying to much. How's everyone doing? It's definitely a blessing and honor to speak amongst everyone here and be able to share my testimony. Um, is this system is truly a blessing. I'm, we're doing it, I'm a part of it. Um, our team getting it done. Now it's time for us to share how you guys can get it done. And um, when they laid this foundation out and they shared it to our team and they said, hey, this is what we're gonna do. This is the route we're going. Um, guys, go out and get 10 Roku's, share it with your team and get it done, we got it done. And um, I'm blessed to say that I have 
free with 10 because of this, this, um, you know, this awesome, awesome, awesome training. And all I can say is because of Marshall, because of Ashley, they, they laid this foundation uh, with this program. I don't see a reason why our company can't go to a billion dollars, okay? I believe it's time to take this company to a billion dollars with this program, okay? Social media, they said, hey, go out and get a few customers, go out to install it. I went out to install it, first customer was my cousin. Went out to install it, my cousin actually shouted me out on Facebook, I said, hey, do me a favor, just shout me out. Don't brand our company or don't brand our service, but just shout me out. Just that one shout out gave me five TV customers. So you guys have to understand that this is a blessing in disguise. This program that we have now is going to take everyone income to a whole nother level. So pay attention, listen, learn, duplicate, and let's take this company to a billion dollars. Thank you guys. Get it up for Dion Lockett. Facebook and social media wasn't a part of the program at first, but when he went in and hooked up that Roku, the cousin posted that on Facebook. Oh, my cousin just saved me $100 on my TV bill. And immediately he started getting five and six hits from other cousins. How can you save me money on my TV bill? How can you save me money? He had six installs in the next two days off of that post. So it works, family, it works. Are you all with me? Good, all right. So. At this point right now, events. We're going to close out with events. And at this point right now, I got the pleasure of bringing out who I call the queen of events, all right? She's an event master, you know? She does so many events, sometimes two and three in one day. I mean, like, I literally come home and I'll be like, another event? Who is this at the house now, you know? But she does it, does it. She was the number one producing SVP in our company for the last two to three years. And she's also one of the newest million dollar earners in our company. She's made over a million dollars. Help me bring out Platinum Senior Vice President and Advisory Council member, Miss Ashley Cooper. Y'all know it's one to one as soon as you hear that. Uh, uh, the sign lost ya. Y'all know it's one to one as soon as you hear that. Uh, uh, the sign lost ya. Y'all know it's one to one as soon as you hear that. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Y'all know we're the gonna, difference, right? We're gonna talk about events. Right. And I really just wanna get a set up here so you all can see exactly what we've been doing. Now this program is very new. So you can tweak it if you feel like you need to, to, you know, however you feel like it. But it was just something we came up with and um, we, we saw it working. So there's three types of, of events. You have TV parties, PBRs, and Roku parties. Now, the PBRs, I want you all to give my leaders a round of applause. For demonstration purposes, they're going to be assisting us. Is that okay? So, when we do a home party, you know how we close, three types of people, yes? Now, instead of just closing and not getting the customer, we're going to close and get TV applications and independent marketing representative applications. So we're going to get both. Does this make sense? So close with three types of people. Utilize the, the TV application form and create a lottery program within your organization with what you all are capable of doing. Does this make sense? So I'm going to give you a demonstration. So there's always three types of people that see this opportunity. The third person is the person that says, hey, this is not for me. I don't see myself doing a business like this, but I would love to save money on products and services that I offer, and especially I would love to, you know, try that new TV that you all have. Well, we have a special program, and we call it our lottery program, that if you want to try the TV, you can sign up right away. 
But if you actually want an install, you want somebody to come out and give you a free device and install the device, give you a seven day free trial so that you can experience it, fill out this application that we have. And once you fill out this application that we have, you'll be entered into a lottery program. And that lottery program, you may just get picked. And if you're picked, guess what? You get the TV, you get to experience it. Now, we want to treat this lottery pro, this Roku or this device, we want to treat it like we used to treat our magazines. Back in the day, I don't know about you, but I was broke and I couldn't afford many magazines. So I may have had five to 10 success magazines, and this is how we showed the program. So when I gave my magazine to somebody, if they did not look it over, I needed my magazine back. I couldn't afford to let you have my magazine. Does that make sense? Now I know we got some ballers in the room, but I want you to put that same value on this device. Hey, you try it for seven days, but if you do not keep the service, guess what? I need my device back. Does that make sense? Okay, so who in this room would like to be a part of the TV program? You know, Ashley, this, this just ain't for me. Y'all just do what y'all wanna do, but I don't really wanna do this. Uh, okay, I understand, thank you. I understand, let it go. No, no. I, I don't know if I can do the business, but I sure do want to try that TV thing. Can okay. You put my name in for that? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, sure. great. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so you all see opportunity? Yeah. Great, great, great. Well, we're going to get you started. Thank you, and uh, have a good day. Okay, so that's that, right? Now, let's talk about the Roku parties. The Roku parties, you want to treat them like a power hour. And this is what you want to utilize within your organization. You want to host these like a power hour, provide training on the device and the setup. How are people going to know how to set up the device if they don't never get the hands-on training? So this is where a person comes in and trains on that. And you take your best installer to do that. You also uh, want to do a hookup demonstration and dial for dollars. When you dial for dollars, we're not getting away from dialing for dollars for business partners, but we're also dialing for dollars for TV installation dates. Does this make sense? So we want you to have at least five to 10 installation dates before you leave this Roku party. Does it make sense? Also, contest for the most installed schedule. So run a contest within your team that day, food, fun in a contest and whoever has the most installed schedule, guess what? Just give them a prize. Maybe give them a device. Does this make sense? Okay, now the last event is the TV party. And so now we're at the TV party, but before we start go into the TV party, we've installed. Now, the lottery program, I said that we may call him, but guess what? We gonna call him, okay? We're going to call everybody. Everybody's a winner in this game. Is that OK? But we're going to put that value on it so that they don't just think that, oh, well, I'll come to you later, maybe. You know, no. You, you got to place value on it. So we do the TV party. And at the TV party, before we get to the TV party, we install. Can I have Reverend Perry come back out here? <laughs> All right. So now Reverend Perry decided, I called him, I said, hey, you've been chosen. You Whoa, won. I won? Yeah. Oh, great. Awesome. So we're going to come over and install. Can I come install today? That would be great if you can. Great. So now I'm at Reverend Perry's home, and now we're getting ready to install his TV on three devices because we're only giving him one device for free. Does it make sense? So, hey, I'm going to install this on your main TV, and then I'm also going to put this on your phone and your tablet so you can get the full experience of what our TV service can do, okay? Great, yeah. Now, I see you filled out the application, and that's great. You got your credit card number on there, the CV. We need all of that. Thank you very much. Good. And so now, what I want to tell you is that I can't really install. I'm not that good at it, oh. but I, I, I got somebody coming with me. Can we have Dion Lockett come out here? Okay. He's gonna be my installer. 
So he's going to install the service. Now, Reverend Perry, while I'm at his house, the next form that I'm going to use, and most of you may have, is the free with 10 worksheet. I'm going to say, hey, Reverend Perry, while he's installing, I want you, would you be interested in learning how you could get free TV? I love free, yes. Okay, so if you can get this filled out even before I leave, okay. then you could be on your way that much closer to free TV. Is that okay? That's excellent, thank you. Okay, great. So you fill that out and we can get going. I know you don't have time for the business, but we'll get that going. Yeah, we'll go inside. Absolutely. Now, also, mm -hmm. you know how we can make this process go a little faster. How's that? if you just host a TV party. Okay, TV party? Yeah, so a TV party is you have to have a minimum of 10 people at the house. Okay. But if you have 10 people that are scheduled, I'll come out and do this party. When can you do this? Uh, about six days. Six days from now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Six days later, these are his guests at his TV party. I'm explaining to him the TV service, I'm explaining to them the TV service and the benefits of it. Now, who likes what we just heard about the TV? Who wants the TV? Who wants the free install? Okay, we're gonna have Mr. Lockett come out and do some installs for you as well. If you're not, you know, you can do it yourself, I'm, you, you mentioned that, okay, okay. But we're gonna have some people come out and assist you, okay? So thank you all for coming, have a great rest of your night. Now, they leave. <laughs> Reverend Perry, great job tonight. You got five sign-ups, five wow. people on your TV. That was great. That was great. It was so easy, you, too. So you just need five more. Five more, and I get free? Free TV. You know what, actually, at first, I didn't really, I didn't have my glasses on, so I couldn't really see the opportunity. Oh, okay. But I think I got a little more time now for this. You, you do? <laughs> so you want to do, what, you want to? I wanna, think I want to do this business. Oh. Oh, you want to do the business. It's free and all this other stuff. I like it. Okay, okay. Well, we'll see about that, okay? All right, all thank, right you. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you know, I might, I might, I might want to do it too. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> and I'm a round of applause. So understand, we know we're in the event business. And we do PBRs, that's the norm. We're gonna get that customer. We also do what we call device Roku parties. These are like power hours, where everybody bring their devices over, and guess what? It's like hot potato. We make sure everybody has devices to do what they have to do. This is a winning environment. They make the calls and all of that. But remember, you all, the next level of this is we do TV parties for people that are even not even reps. So they might not want to do the business, but hey, come host a TV party. I come over and show you how it works. I give you a free TV service for you know a few days, and on top of that, I can show you how you can never get a bill. Let's give Ashley Cooper a round of applause, please. <laughs>